Councilmember Garcia and Mayor Pro Tem is not. He is in the hallway. Oh, yeah? oh okay. All right, all right. I thank you very much. Okay, so at this point, uh, all right, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to the open uh, study session. And part of the recess, uh, Tulsa Lee Conference is a uh, labor negotiator, uh, public employees performance evaluation. And uh, you can see what else we have on here. Well, the whole school violence uh, and also conference with the council and state litigation. So at this point, we're going to go. Who's doing the presentation? Hello, uh, yeah. 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 the Yeah, Rose will give a little introduction, and then Sam is going to highlight some of the projects. Uh, most of them are um, public works related. There's some police department and parks and rec projects that they'll be available to answer questions. Good evening, I'm uh, Amal Lumi and City Council. Uh, tonight we are here to present you the uh, proposed five-year CIP projects. And the additional request for the five-year CIP project, and the total cost is about $29 million. However, the only additional request for physical year 1819 is about five point million dollars. They all come from the special revenue funds. At this time, um, no additional will impact the general fund. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Yes. No, no, no. Is that okay if I ask a question? No. Okay. Um, does that mean that that's going to be for the projects that are going to be finished, that are already in the pipeline, or projects that will be started? So it's, it, it's actually both. Yeah, it's actually both. Um, for the most part, it's new projects. Okay. There are some adjustments that you'll see in your packet. Okay. Um, some projects didn't need all the money, so we're adjusting it out. A couple projects need okay. a little more. Okay. That's in your packet. They're going to highlight tonight mostly the ones that are new projects. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes. For example, in the green column, um, those are the projects already approved uh, during the uh, regular budget uh, study session and, and process. And the one in the purple are the one that is new quest, uh, new request that Sam is going to uh, go over that uh, with all of you. So at this point, I know Sam uh, so you the PowerPoint and point out the uh, major projects. And again, like Rose said, we're only funding and approving what you see in the column of 1819 at this time. Okay. In the public. The other projects are out here is that it's more of a planning process right. um, to look future. ahead of what we'll need to do in the future. Okay. So that right. money is not designated yet, right? So we're just going to take that money and show us how it's going to be used. Yeah, Correct. The money in, in the from 19 on is basically planning, and we'll look at funding those next year. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Actually, in total, there are about 70 some projects. Over half of those projects are new, and that's what we're going to talk about when, when the project is new, or if it was carried over for some kind of a, uh, uh, an adjustment. So first off, I'd like to start off with uh, administration. There's three new projects. Uh, I, uh, there's a phone system, a uh, wire rewiring of the network at, at the city, um, and the financial system. That's not new, but that's ongoing. Yeah. The financial uh, uh, system is already done. It's completed. However, the twenty-seven thousand dollars is for the annual maintenance fee that we are going. To so we already completed the uh, full implementation and it's been uh, working. Oh, I was just, just going to ask, how's that, how's that coming along? Is it? We still uh, struggle with uh, uh, some issue or small items that we are working with. Them. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
So um, the uh, CIP 19-7 that's in the community development, that is the permitting software that includes uh, permitting software for planning, building, and uh, engineering. And it has uh, cash, not, not cash, it has business license and code enforcement. Uh, we are in the midst of uh, implementing that uh, system. We have good momentum going forward, and it should be going live in May of 2019. That number, that 27,000, I think that was a large, lot larger number, and then you had negotiated that down significantly from the bad neighbors, right? Yes, uh, for the annual maintenance, uh, I was uh, working, uh, tried very hard and negotiated with the company, uh, reducing from $80,000 per annual maintenance fee mm -hmm. to 50000 which means 30000 saving a year. Because it's very critical how you negotiate the annual maintenance fee. It's not much what you pay for the program. It's the long term that you have to look into. Because once you implement the program, you are not going to change it every year. You might have it for 10 years or 20 years. So it's very critical that you get the maintenance fee signed. How many years is that contract? Is it a five year, 10, 15 years? It's a five year contract, oh, five then after years. five years, then you need to okay. with the company. Would you have to buy new software at that point? After five years, is the uh, software no. outdated? If, we, we, if we, the city is happy with the program, we just continue with them at that time, they might come back and negotiate with us for the new annual maintenance fee. Yeah, I see it. But for the next five years, about fifty thousand dollars per year for the annual fee for the police uh, software system. It's same with the same company, the pilot, just like the financial software. So, so the they are interface with each other. Oh, okay. You just answered my question. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, the uh, police department is adding a, a new uh, traffic truck and a new motorcycle uh, to the fleet. Also, not shown here because it's part of the public works um, CIP is uh, PD will also be adding six new uh, vehicles through the vehicle leasing program uh, for admin. So we're we're working on on those, and you'll see those in the public works department. Are those the ones that were in the price? Yes. So uh, here I just want to highlight, uh, as Shannon mentioned, we just want to hit the highlights. Uh, the CNG station uh, is, is a carryover project, but we haven't expended uh, any construction funds. So that is actually going to go out to bid uh, in the fall. So sometime this fall we'll have uh, that project bidding out. Um, our fleet uh, is leasing, the CNG, right yeah, the CNG on Ramon. Uh, we're adding uh, an additional uh, tank 10 vehicles through the vehicle leasing program. So we're gonna bring in uh, some more vehicles. We recently brought in uh, some um, vehicles for recreation. We brought in three minivans and, and a sedan. So it's it's working. We're uh, continuing our complete streets projects. As you see here, CIP 19-22, that is a main avenue complete streets. Uh, one a phase one a is the is the part that's under construction now. That's the carryover part. Phase one b uh, is slated to go out uh, to bid later uh, this fall, and that'll complete the improvements from Olive to, to Arrow. Um, our safe routes to school uh, uh, project is on the agenda tonight for award a bid, and uh, Fraser Avenue pedestrian and bicycle improvements uh, that is. Currently out to bid. Uh, the project on Marina and Railroad? Uh, no, that's actually on this slide. Okay. That's CIP uh, 19 37. Oh, that I is, see it. yeah, that is um, our annual paving program. Uh, some of this has been carried over from last year, but we, we've added uh, new streets such as Marina this year and other streets. Um, this project is currently in design, but we think that we would be bringing it to council very soon for authorization to bid. 
No, uh, Francis Guido is not there. Uh, Attorney on the list. Do you know which person is Francis? Yeah, Francis Guido is in between um, the time freeway and all the Okay, yeah. So that, that's that's not on the list, but I can uh, get back to you on when we schedule that. Uh, it should be already scheduled, but it should not be this next week. Uh, also, I, I really want to highlight um, the uh, CIP uh, 20-35. That is our Metro um, uh, Safety Crossing Improvements Project. This is going to go under a uh, bond, a measure and bond, for $7 million. And, uh, we anticipate that only this year, since we're only showing this year, that we're going to spend about $750,000 after obtaining the bond. I have a question because I saw it on the previous line and on this one. On the previous it was around, the gas tax was around 70 some thousand and on this one I see 116. What will happen to that? And I know that that's all the cities are asking the same question. If on the November ballot that gas tax is repealed, what will mm -hmm. happen to that money? So so the uh, fund 240, the gas tax, that's, that's going to stay, that's safe. Okay. That's the uh, regular, that's yeah, the regular yeah, gas tax. Yeah, it, SB1. Right. Fund 256. 256. Oh, okay. SB1, That's and we've kept that separate okay. because we are concerned about yes. going the way, so we're yes. not spending anything with that, but okay. we don't have that. Right, so the strategy is to, you know, we've been receiving the money, so the strategy is to have enough for our first project so that, you know, if it you know, gets repealed in November, uh, we're, we don't have a shortfall. Okay, good. Uh, if it yes. if it moves forward in November, if it doesn't get repealed, then we have uh, more surplus. money yeah, exactly um, for for the other projects. Uh, we have phase two of the uh, bus uh, shelter project. Uh, bus shelters have been very successful. I've gotten a lot of compliments over them, uh, and we're going to do the next phase, which is going to replace twenty eight more. Uh, on this slide, I want to highlight um, uh, Walnut Creek Nature Park Phase 3. This is from the funding that we received from the Assembly uh, Block Bed Woodhills at the uh, Women's Office. Uh, we're going to be uh, starting design very shortly on this project and hopefully uh, have it bid out towards November, December and start construction in January. This, this phase will complete all of the planned improvement projects from five years ago when they had the community meetings and they thought to put the project together. So this will complete the park. This this is this includes uh, the parking lot. The at, trail. Yes. Yes. On on the northern portion and then the, the trail. And we're going to be improving the um, the gate for T V access and the access. What's gonna happen? I was there the other day. What's there were several trees that had died. Yes, um, uh, we're having. Lots. I yes. counted four, and somebody told me there's one. There, yeah, so, we're, we're having a problem there. So uh, we've already removed about six trees, and, yes. and now I got word that there's another uh, batch that's not doing so good. Is it just lack of water in your gophers? No, uh, they're diseased. They have. Uh, I don't. Oh, I don't remember the name of the yeah. um, of the bug. It's that's like a white. What do they call it? A white something. Eucalyptus trees are getting them. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, that's too bad. So will we replant those either with yes. this project or another grant? Yeah. Maybe so some trees that are more resistant. Absolutely. Trees. A big part of this project is to um, part of the project is to come up with a tree succession plan. So we're going to be looking at you know phasing in trees and when they after on and when we need to put new trees and when do we need to plant. So uh, part of the design is to uh, provide a tree succession plan. For, for that. Yeah. And also where it says on, on CIP 19-117, the purchase of a dumping trailer. Yes. Um, instead of renting, and that will be used with the Quinty funds. Yes. Um, uh, uh, because I saw one of the bigger, I haven't seen it, one of the bigger trucks was on Ramona today. Mm -hmm. I think it was Ramona. I guess they were cutting some of the um, and so forth. Yeah, is, is that what is that what you're talking about, or? Uh, no, this is a, a smaller uh, oh, dumping trailer. Okay. Uh, we usually rent this when we uh, clean up the parts after events. Oh, okay. We rent it and and um, uh, we take it to the to the dumping. Oh, okay. Yeah, All so. right. 
Um, but yeah, this is a sm much smaller version and it'll help uh, our park guys uh, expedite a lot of that cleanup work. And so I'm going back to the use of section that is part of phase three. We include in part phase three. So okay. um, that would be part of the uh, designer submittal. Uh, here I just want to talk about uh, our um, bike uh, way project. That uh, project is uh, completed. We're working with LA County on trying to get the permitting for it. But what I want to highlight particularly on this slide is uh, CIP 19-129. Uh, this is a new grant that the city received last year. Uh, and we're budgeting because we want to start the design on that project this year. This is for the greening of that same bike trail. Uh, and uh, the total budget for uh, Public Works is uh, 18 million, 80,208 for uh, the projects uh, for this year and some of them that have been rolled over. Uh, on this slide, I want to highlight the dog park. Uh, Manny's uh, been uh, helping us out. He's already obtained um, some preliminary uh, design numbers. And Where is the Orange Park? Orange park. So, so this is recreation and community services. Many chime in if you, if, you, if you want to, but I just want to highlight that uh, we're, we're going to be getting a, a, a new playground. Is this at Morgan Park? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Oh, the whole actually the playground flooring at, yeah. at Morgan Park yeah. because it's so used. Uh, a lot of wear there. We're spending a considerable amount of money on replacing some of the flooring. So if you go out and see the flooring, we have a lot of circles because the circle is where we put new rubberized flooring on the uh, interior. So rather than keep on spending five to twelve thousand dollars every time, we are, are going to just replace the entire flooring with uh, rubberized. Flooring. And how about the basketball part? What are we doing? Oh, let's see. So every surfacing of the basketball courts at Hilda Solis Park. So yes, oh, we, we, have, we have not touched Hilda Solis Park. We, about 18 months ago, resurfaced the Morgan Park basketball courts that came out. I'm yeah. on, my, on my skateboard, my skateboard. Does the panel still work there? Yes. Can I go online and see myself in it? Or is it? Did you fall? <laughs> yeah, all, the, all the cameras are off, yeah. operational. As a matter of fact, most of them have been uh, replaced with an uh, HD yeah. And our, actually our uh, last slide, also for recreation community service, uh, there's, there's uh, security cameras uh, coming to the Fitness Trade Center at Morgan Park. Uh, there's cameras uh, at the police department uh, to upgrade some of their cameras. And uh, lastly, I want to highlight the um, PA system project, uh, the overhaul of the council's PA project. That's on there. And also, on the top, um, redoing the marquee of the team center with the new LED. Oh, good. Oh, I did a little. It's been down for a number of years, yeah. so it's not enough. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to renovate that whole thing, right? Is that what we're doing? Yes. The marquee? The marquee? Yes. At uh, the team center. Right. Yes. Oh, okay, that one. How about the one yes. over here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Bargain Park? <laughs> I thought we were going to do a digital here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we're going to talk about that. That is part and included <laughs> in the revenue from the um, bulletin display. Oh, okay. that's right. Yes. right. So and they're very close to finishing up their approvals with Caltrans. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Is that that's just such an And uh, Actually, CIP 19-89, uh, that is the digital marquee that's going to go over the street. We're currently oh, yeah. working, yeah, we're currently digital working. Digital banners. Right. So we're working with a, an artist, and she's assembling a team, and the team is going to come and present to council, uh, maybe at the next meeting or the meeting after that. But we'll, we'll let you know as, as we set up that meeting. And if we get the funding from Bulletin Display, it could be included in this project. Right. So how many digital funds do we have? So we are, at best, best case, we're, we're doing two. 
uh, but we're trying to hopefully to get three. And it'll be one uh, major uh, in the downtown area over the street, over the street. Oh, wow. and uh, one at each entrance on the Mona. Uh, so digital signs are different. Right. It'll be really nice. We'll put your picture since we don't put up the Christmas decorations anymore, it would be nice to put up like a Santa happy yeah, Christmas thing or something. Yeah, and then these digital screens that we're looking at, they're, they're not the old um, LED, big LED type. These are very, um, resolution is very high, so you can have high resolution graphics on it. Oh, wow. So what we're working on is designing, we're going to have some design that we put the facade and make it Right. Yeah. So, artwork and we're bringing an art consultant in that's going to give you a presentation and give you some uh, ideas to choose from kind of like the bus shelter you can pick I like this I like that and then they'll put it together into a, a full design. Sounds good. You know, some time ago um, when we Yes, a lot of cities use their banners and allow um, nonprofits to have time up there when the city doesn't have an event scheduled. Mm -hmm. but this gives us way more flexibility to get almost any group, you know, a few seconds um, you know, in every hour. The woman's spoke. In addition, if I could chime in, we also have access to the bus shelters. Oh, that's are, right. Those are very nice. That have been and very intimate. And so mm -hmm. uh, they're yeah. walking down the street, they, they see the beautiful uh, ad, advertisement for the bus shelter. So that's an op option. Mm -hmm. And we have been getting the events on the billboards. I think you had the, uh, the new Harley Davidson billboard. Yes, yeah, so we've we actually had the great Pride of the Valley, right? Yes. Pride of the Valley, the yeah. open yeah. streets. The carnival, the parade, and, and the concerts. And I think you've been using the one at the city hall too? Yes. We have access to one face per year per building. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. So, I mean, you can look at and so because I used to have a banner for them specifically for veterans, and they announced their names, and they listed, you know, for a certain period of time. We don't have that in our So, um, I think it was because we are, we are still doing the banners on the street lights, mm -hmm. but we could incorporate are there new, that. Are, there new? are we, these older banners, or are they are they updated? We have money to refurbish the ones that are up, so, oh, so we have continued the program. We have uh -huh. less and less requests now, but we're keeping those that are still in active service. And some of the families have asked for the flashback. Yes. I right? didn't just recently do one for the family. Yes. So, yeah, we'd like to, to thank all the department heads and, and their staff, finance, and their interns uh, uh, for the preparation of the CIP budget, uh, their hard work and education and commitment. Thank you, Rose. Uh, we want to thank the Honorable Mayor and members of the City Council for their continued support on the CIP. Uh, this uh, item is on the agenda under the report of officers in tonight's meeting for approval. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. Excellent. Very nice to see you. And thank you so very much for that street uh, workshop. Was oh, yes. Yeah, the, the SSARP. Uh, yes, that was yeah. very nice. I, thank I'm you. Sorry. I was uh, surprised that you had the turnout that we did. I was because very happy with the turnout. Yes. In, in giving their opinions and even from the school district to residents in the area. So. Yeah, and I have been having a lot of follow-up calls uh, oh, after good. that meeting. There's just been quite a few. And I think uh, we either already have or we will have soon the presentations on our website in both English and Spanish. Oh, good. Yes, I was going to ask because some people are asking. Yeah. About the yeah. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
also, Mayor Ike would ask if, um, before we recess to the closed session, if everybody agrees if we can add on an item that came up um, after the posting of the agenda um, regarding the um, community development director position that we discussed last night. I need to give you an update and a briefing on, on what happened since last night. So do we have agreement? Do you need a motion? Second. 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 Second.